What's up, guys? Uh, I didn't recap the two-game homestand against Boston. Um, Jason Tatum did his thing. Uh, we lost those two. But we snap a five-game skid tonight. But stop me if you've heard this before. A mellow ball twisted his ankle, sprained it, uh, landed awkwardly on PJ's foot, uh, left in the third quarter. Had been struggling with the shot. I think his wrist was bothering him as well. I say uh, put him in bubble wrap and just let him heal up for the rest of the season because there's uh, no reason to uh, sacrifice uh the rest of Lamelo's career for this this year that's really going nowhere except the good mark williams and bryce mcgowan's are going to be a problem for this league for a long time and i'm really excited to see some youngsters uh sort of blossom it's it's really nice to see mark williams 17.6 boards uh we had 14 dunks tonight and mark had uh double Seven, I believe at least so uh, and five blocks he's the first rookie this season to have at least 15 points and five blocks in the same game so really good there and Bryce McGowan's 10 um, 10 points uh, four rebounds three assists and two clutch uh, threes as well one of those a four-point play couldn't finish it but this kid's got some game and Mark Williams and he seemed to have some sort of connection that was really nice to see from their Greensboro Swarm work that they've gotten this season. Um, and he hit two clutch free throws after the Hornets were trying to Hornets uh, this game with some spotty free throw shooting from um, PJ Washington and Mason Plumlee even though he was solid again tonight. Uh, PJ finally looked like he really wanted to rebound had eight of those tonight Terra 26 uh so really good game Jalen Green had some game uh tied his career high with 41 and Shingoon is going to be a problem for this league as well kind of a really 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 mini Jokic but he has some really nice moves got to get him credit there they're building some nice young core pieces but I think um if the Hornets don't trade, uh, have an active trade deadline. They're doing a disservice to their players, their fans, the entire organization because sometimes, especially with this Lamella ball injury again, sometimes you just gotta look yourself in the mirror and the reality is the reality and just try to tear it down to the studs. Uh, Terry Rogier, PJ Washington, uh, if Mason Plumley, Gordon, Gordon Hayward, maybe. I know his contract is, is kind of really gross, but um, it's just time to see full Bryce McGowan, Mark Williams, Nick Richards. It's just time to see that. I don't want to trade Jalen McDaniels because I think his ceiling is getting higher and higher uh, coming off the game with uh, career high 26, the second game on MLK Day against Boston. I think that's a piece you need to build around. Um, so I think if Mitch Kupchak does not have an active trade deadline, it, it's going to be a really bad look and I'm not going to be happy at all because the reality is what the reality is. And it's been super unlucky with injuries, the Miles Bridges situation, the Kenny Atkinson situation, everything that could go wrong this year has gone wrong. Um, and if we didn't have bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck at all. And that's the reality of this season. But you just got to look yourself in the mirror and say that's where we are and restart because you've got some solid pieces. Mark Williams, uh, Lamella Ball, um, Nick Richards, um, Bryce McGowan. You might want to see what you have in Jay's book night, but if you could trade him because he just seems to have lost uh, rotation, JT Thor. You've got pieces, you just need to see it, and um, what's the worst that can happen? We keep losing, that's happened all year, even with a pretty healthy roster. Cody Martin out again tonight um, with knee, I believe, so 
Cody Martin's a piece as well. Um, we signed to a four-year deal this offseason. Um, but I think it's just it's the right thing to do. It signals a direction because right now uh, it's just mediocre, really bad basketball with sp sprinkles of great lamella ball stuff. Um, and I think that's, that's the reality that Hornets fans everywhere know. But I just hope that uh, Mitch Kupchak and company in the front office uh, understand that and realize that sometimes you got to start from the bare bottom uh, with a couple of foundational pieces to see what can happen because Mitch Kupchak has done a nice job with second round picks and we have a bevy of those um, in, in the coming drafts and we need to um, um, capitalize on Mason Plumlee's career year. I know you only get maybe a second round pick or something, but um, I just think you need to execute uh, Terry Rozier going, coming back to form, Terry Rozier form. Um, you just gotta, you just gotta capitalize on the value that these guys um, bring you, and hopefully we can do that and set, kind of see a direction and light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop watching or stop recapping, regardless of the record. It's still, still my team, all day, every day, as always. Buzz City, all fly, go Hornets.